Apple thinks they have the solution for all the complex infotainment systems that we keep on seeing in cars. It's called Apple CarPlay, and what they're trying to do is they're trying to take some of the apps and the screens that you're used to in your iPhone and bring them right up here in the screen and integrate them into the car. Now CarPlay is going to be available in a lot of cars going forward, but we already have it because it's available in the aftermarket and we installed it in one of our test cars. So first impressions, when you look at these icons, they certainly look familiar. If you have an iPhone, you'll recognize them right away. The other things you'll recognize is Siri. Now Siri has been on iPhone for a while, but she really comes alive when you're driving in a car. So let me explain why. Because with Siri, you could find addresses, you could find where you want to go, you could find out where good food is. Where can I get a falafel? Looking for restaurants whose reviews mention falafel? I found quite a few restaurants a little ways from you. And it'll instantly program it into your nav system and the car, it'll take you right there. Same thing goes with text messages. You could receive them, you could send them, all by voice. It's not going to show you the words, so you're not going to be reading them while you drive. Same thing with your music. Sure, you could use your voice to find your music, but you could also look at the screen and the screen, it looks just like it looks like in your iPhone, so it's easy to find your way around. The same thing with your phone controls. We found voice controls, they work great. Hi, how are you? You also get apps. Not everyone that's on your phone, just a few that are actually going to be written for this system. So right now you could get podcasts, Spotify, and some others, but they will be adding more in the future. Truth is, we have seen these types of features before, but we've never seen anything that so flawlessly integrates your iPhone into your car. We'll continue to evaluate CarPlay as it develops and as it becomes more available in new cars.